Le président. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session, and uh, the floor is now given to the uh, co-prosecutor to continue uh, his line of questioning for this witness. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Now, I would like to move on to another question. In answer number eight of your OCIJ interview under E3 stroke 5511, you made the following statement, and I quote, Many people fell sick thanks to overwork and lack of food to eat. People who were sick and could not go to work were sent to be treated in the hospital. In the hospital, people were appropriately treated, but there were not enough medicines, and of quote. And my question for you is that I would like you to indicate in general uh, what was the most common health problem of the sick people who were sent to the Tramcock District Hospital. Des personnes qui arrivaient se faire soigner à l'hôpital de district de Tramcac. De Those patients who were sent to my hospital were suffering from diarrhea, uh, swollen body, and also malaria. Question. Can you tell the court uh, what are the medicines are in a desperate need for your hospital at the time? Quel médicament votre hôpital avait-il désespérément besoin à l'époque? At my hospital at the time, um, we we were lacking of every medicine. Uh, we had very limited medicines for uh, our purpose. Question. And Question. you said uh, many patients were suffering from diarrhea and malaria. And, uh, did you think at the time that those medicines uh, were sufficient for that for that treatment purpose? Suffisait à soigner les maladies Answer. face auxquelles vous no, vous trouviez. Uh, they were Réponse. not sufficient non. for our treatment purpose uh, at the time. Ils ne permettaient pas de soigner et de traiter les patients. Question. Now Question. I would like to move on to another uh, answer 147 of your interview with the OCIJ and the E3. 19.1.21. You were asked how many patients your hospital admitted each day, and you provided the following response. And I quote. We received about ten men each day. But some of them died because of their condition were too serious. There were more than 100 women each day. End of quote. And my question is as follows. Um, was there a reason that the number of female patients at your hospital was Comment much higher than the number of uh, male patients. Why were so many sick in Trump people? President, uh, Vines, please Le hold on. Témoin, now, Mr. Victor Coppe, you may Monsieur proceed. I have something different in my English version of the English version. It says 13 in English, but maybe something went wrong with the translation. L'interprétation n'a pas suivi.
President uh, Witness, please respond to uh, the question posed by the co-prosecutor. Witness, could you please repeat your question? Um, President, uh, please hold on. Um, there is a uh, technical uh, problem with the transcript machine. Uh, court officer, please uh, coordinate with uh, the staff so that we can have the problem fixed for uh, a proper operation. President, yes, co-prosecutor and witness. Uh, prosecutor, could you please re repeat your question to the witness so that he can uh, reply? Prosecutor, my question for you is as follows. Why? There were more female patients Pourquoi than uh, the male persons at Trumpkamp Hospital. Qui à à de Answer. Réponse. There were more female patients at the district Il y avait plus de 105 hospital district, uh, because women 105, were weaker than men and they were exposed to hard labor. They did uh, devait, uh, overwork and uh, they were dur, there were many women uh, falling sick and they were sent to the hospital. Co-prosecutor, I have another question before I conclude my line of questioning for you. Co-procureur, encore une question avant you que also je ne conclue cette question. Vous that avez some dit of patients que certains patients who were sent to your hospital died. And I quote, vous dites, je because cite, their condition were too serious, end of quote. End of quote. Can you explain what do you mean by this? That is, what were the condition of people who were died, who died? Correction. Answer. Réponse. Those patients who were serious and sent from various communes, uh, they were sent from uh, the work site and their condition was serious since they were ils at the work site and um, there was some time um, delay at the commune and then when they arrived at my hospital it was too late to rescue so they died. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness, for uh, responding to my question. And, uh, Mr. President, I have no further question to put to this witness, and my uh, esteemed uh, colleagues will continue his line of questioning for this witness. President, please, uh, International uh, Deputy Co-prosecutor, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Mr. Witness. Uh, my name is Dale Isaac, and I'll be asking you uh, uh, some questions um, this morning and this afternoon. I want to start um, by asking you uh, about how the district hospital uh, reported to the leaders of Tramcock District. Uh, can you tell us um, how the hospital reported to the Tramcock District Committee and specifically whether you sent written reports or whether your reporting was done verbally in person. And uh, the way we did reporting 
from our District 105 hospital, we did not prepare a written report for the district Nous committee, but we would appear before the district chief to make our report because effet, we thought that it is not uh, helpful to prepare a written report because there was, there was no uh, medicine, uh, food ration was not uh, sufficient for the patient, so we keep doing oral report as uh, usual, and there was no problem with that uh, oral report. Um, thank you. How often did you uh, attend meetings to report Merci. to the district chief? À quelle fréquence vous réunissiez-vous pour présenter votre compte rendu au chef du district? Answer. Réponse. I would go to the district office by myself alone uh, at the end of each month sometime. At any time before the end of the month, I can see him to make a raw report. Uh, sometimes I made a raw report, but I received no um, uh, recommendation uh, from him. And can you tell us um, where it was that you would meet with the district chief and who else would be present at those meetings? Answer. I would meet with him, with the district chief, at the district office. Réponse au bureau du district. Could you tell us where the district office was located? Question. Où se trouvait le bureau du district? Answer. The district Réponse. office le was located at Angroka Market. It was at a concrete house belonged to the former Chinese owner and the owner left and the, the market was uh, empty. There was the house standing and uh, the Khmer who used it as a, an office for them. You uh, stated a, few, a couple of minutes ago that you went to report to the district chief uh, by yourself. Uh, is there a reason that the um, uh, chiefs of the hospital, the uh, three women who you identified earlier, is there a reason that that person didn't come to the meetings? Answer. Talking about reporting, especially reporting of the patient, I did a report for that, but a reporting about the party's activity or work, the three chiefs would go to the district chief to make report. Now, in your OCIJ interview E3-5511, uh, and perhaps um, before I get to that, Mr. President, maybe at this time I will uh, ask to provide uh, to the witness and his counsel um, his two OCIJ interviews, E3-5511 uh, and E3-5511. Uh, e Three nineteen point one point two one, and uh, also uh, a request to provide him his two DC CAM interviews, as I may have some uh, questions from those. The two DC CAM interviews are, for the record, D three one three slash one point two point four zero nine, and D three one three slash one point two point four ten. Uh, with your leave, Mr. Mr. President, can I voilà provide those four statements to the witness? The President, co prosecutor your request is granted. Allez-y.
Now, Mr. Witness, I've provided these to you and your counsel just so you have them in case you wish to refer. Um, I'm going to refer now to answer 15 in your first OCIJ interview, E3 slash 5511. Uh, in that answer, you described a, a quarterly meeting uh, at which you were asked by the district committee why people in the hospital suffered from diarrhea and puffiness or swelling. Uh, can you tell the court uh, what you told the district committee when they asked you why there were people in the hospital who were sick with diarrhea and swelling? Answer. When I report to him that people suffer from uh, swelling and diarrhea because the lack of uh, nutrition uh, for uh, their health, that is the reason why they had uh, this kind of um, illness. And you said him, uh, were at this meeting, were you reporting to the entire district committee or was it just the district chief? And sir, I reported to only the district chief. And what was the district chief's response when you told him that people were sick because they didn't have enough food to eat and were suffering from malnutrition. Answer. The district uh, secretary uh, responded to me that I was attacking the cooperative by my report, by my words. And uh, did you ask the district chief to provide more food to the hospital? Uh, and if so, what was his response? De mieux approvisionner en vivre l'hôpital et si oui, quelle a été sa réponse? Answer. At the time, réponse. I did not request anything Je pas because I would often uh, request, but I received nothing in return. Des demandes, mais je ne rien en retour. Accusation. In the next answer, question and answer, in that same statement, E3-5511, answer 16, you described the ration of rice that was given to the district, given by the district to your hospital as follows, quote, I was allowed to have 50 cans of rice for 250 patients. Four cans of rice were equivalent to one kilogram, end of quote. Uh, can you tell us, was, was that a daily ration? What was the uh, period for which you would receive uh, 50 cans of rice for 250 patients? And so this is a daily ration. Réponse, il s'agit d'une ration quotidienne. And did the rations remain the same throughout the entire uh, period that you worked at the district hospital? Pendant la période où vous travaillez à l'hôpital du district, les rations sont-elles demeurées les mêmes ou ont-elles évolué? And so I do not know réponse. what happened in je other places, pas, but this is uh, happened at my place. Je sais que ce qu passé là où do you remember um, the year this meeting took place, or, or do you remember who the district chief was uh, at the time um, of this incident where you reported um, that there was mal malnutrition and you were accused of attacking the cooperatives?
answer. I forget the date and year. But at the time, the district chief was Tachai, Tachim, and in particular, Tachai would uh, accuse me of uh, attacking uh, seriously the cooperative. De lancer un affront ou d'attaquer la coopérative. While we are talking about the district chiefs, uh, I want to see if I can go uh, through with you uh, the succession of people um, who were the district chief of Tramcock uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, in your interview E319.1.21 at answer 213, uh, you identified a woman named Kom, who was the daughter of Tamok and the wife of Mias Mut, uh, and stated that she was the District 105 secretary early in the regime, but that, in your words, she went insane. Uh, can you describe uh, for the court uh, what Ye Kom was like as a district chief and what happened to her. Answer. At that time, Ye Kom was the district secretary, but later she became uh, insane. Elle est par la she suite kept saying folle. words. Sometime Elle when I met her, she ordered me to, Quand je la um, parfois, elle uh, to cut uh, the big tree and to, uh, to uh, dig the ground to pull out uh, the, the stem of the tree. But uh, actually, she was uh, insane. And do you know what happened to her after uh, she became Question. insane? Answer. After uh, the incident that she became réponse. insane, I don't know what happened to her Je because I left the area uh, for Compensant. In uh, answer 13 of interview E3 slash 5511, uh, you identified uh, the following people as being district committee, district 105 committee. Quote, Tachai, Takit, Tachim, and Tassan. And you noted that Takit and Tachim were biological siblings. Uh, and in your DC CAM, interview D313 slash 1.2.409 at English ERN 00729041, Khmer 00418824, and French 00808621. You stated, quote, Question, what was the name of the district's chief? Question. Answer, it was Takit, whose predecessor was Tachim. Takit was followed by Tassan, younger brother-in-law of Tamok, end of quote. Do I understand correctly that Tachim was the district chief after Ye Kom? Le chef du district et a-t-il succédé à Yekom? Ai-je bien compris? Answer. In fact, Tachim was the chief of Tramcock um, 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 before uh, Yekom, and when Tachim uh, was. Uh, sent to uh, the rubber plantation Chum and then Yekom was assigned to replace him. All right, I'll come back to, to that uh, in a little while. Um, 
after Tachim and Yekom. Can you tell us your recollection of who the district chiefs were? Après la succession, en tant que chef de district. Answer um, before the end of the Khmer Rouge reg uh, regime, um, Tassan, the brother-in-law of Tamok, um, who were who was the district chief. C'est lui qui était chef du district. And you've indicated that Tachai was district Vous chief for a period. Um, can you tell us when uh, he was district chief or who it was that, um, uh, where he fell in the succession of district chiefs, who he was district chief Où after and before? Et avant qui était -il chef du district? Answer. After Tachai, Réponse. Après the were two cadres, Takut and Tachim, and later Ye Kom, and after that Tassan, who was the brother-in-law of Tamok. Tamok. Uh, Mr. Witness, I'm going to try to uh, refresh your recollection okay, about Monsieur the timing of uh, that uh, Chim and Kit Quand, uh, were district chiefs. À date ou à la um, à in interview E319, uh, I'm sorry, interview OCIJ, interview E3400, uh, at pages Khmer 00373-459, English 00379-171, French 00426-179. Uh, and this was an interview of former District Chief Chim. Uh, he testified uh, that he left to go to Camp on Cham to the rubber plantation in February 1977, and that he was replaced as district secretary by his brother Kit. Does that refresh your recollection that Chim was district secretary after Ye Kom, and that Chim was then succeeded by his brother Kit? a été remplacé par Kit, son frère. Answer. No, I could not remember. Réponse, non, je ne me souviens pas. Was a Kit someone that you knew fairly well? Question, est-ce que vous connaissiez bien Kit? I knew Takut really well. Réponse, je connaissais bien Takut. Let me ask you before Question. I uh, let me ask you about another uh, some other people that you referenced in your various interviews. In a DC Cam interview D three one three slash 1.2.409, and here I'm referring to Khmer 00418876, English 00729094, and French 00808678. Eight. You referred uh, to a cadre named Takiv, Vous avez uh, un who had been arrested. Takiv, qui avait été arrêté. Can you tell us uh, what was Takiv's position in Tramcock District? Takiv occupait au niveau du district de Tramcock. Réponse. From the beginning, Takir was the secretary début, of Tramcock district. Était le secrétaire du district de Tramcock. However, 
I only saw him for uh, a few months Néanmoins, and then he disappeared and I did not know where he went. Ensuite, je ne sais pas où il est allé. You said that he was arrested. Uh, how did you become aware that Takiv had been arrested? I only knew that Réponse. after he left, that doctor was ill and he rested at a house and I was there as well. Pour se reposer. And at that time there was only him, uh, Takut and myself. Il n'y avait que lui, Takut et moi-même à l'époque. And he told Takut that uh, he would uh, uh, go away. Qu'il allait partir. And from that day onward, he et disappeared. C'est à partir de ce jour-là qu'il a disparu. Another person, or two Question. people actually that I'd like to ask you about. Uh, in answer 13 of your OCIJ statement E3-5511, you identified a person named Dan who held the position of chief or head of the district office. And in your DC CAM interview, D313-1.2.409, Slash 1.2.409, uh, Khmer 0041887, English 0072909095396, French 0080867979. Uh, you identified a man named P, someone who had a broken leg uh, and who had preceded Dan as head of the district office. Uh, can you explain, um, my question is, can you explain what P and Dan's roles or responsibilities were as chief of the district office and how their function differed from the people who were district secretary. P and Don. Réponse. P and Don were chief of the district office and their district. main responsibility was to receive uh, goods or materials sent from the upper level, that is from the sector level, uh, and those materials included their medicine. And in fact, the district office was a kind of a commerce office. It means that was the location where they received the supply or materials from the sector, and then they would make the arrangement for the distribution through the district. Par la suite ce matériel au district. And, and you said in that Question. same part of your DC CAM interview that P uh, was a cruel person. Uh, what did you mean by that? Why, why did you say that? Pourquoi avez-vous dit cela? Qu'entendiez-vous par là? I said that P was a cruel person, and although I was much older than him, and he was much younger and had a broken leg, but would threaten me, and he's really, really, very cruel, but he passed away. In another part of the same DC CAM interview, D313, uh, 1.2.409, uh, Khmer 0041885, English 0072903031, French 0080861161, you provided uh, the following statement. 
about another occasion uh, where you had tried to discuss the possibility of increasing production of medicine. And this is what you said in that interview, I quote. I also wanted to make more productions, but I needed more raw materials. When I raised this issue, they said it would be impossible. Raising this issue, I had my conscious conscience assessed. I was assessed as having the imagination of a bourgeois and an intellectual rather than a worker." End of quote. Who was it that criticized you as being a bourgeois and intellectual when you raised the idea of trying to produce more medicine? At that time, it was the district secretary, Barista Chai, who said that I was a bourgeoisie and intellectual. Was this the same meeting where you were accused of attacking the cooperatives for saying people had malnutrition, or was this a different meeting? Uh, and in that same uh, DC CAM interview at Khmer 00418817, English 00729033, French 00808081313, uh, you, you gave the following testimony or statement. Question, did patients die at that center? Answer, first, only few died occasionally, but later the death, the death toll increased dramatically due to dysentery and malnutrition. And continuing below, generally speaking, malnutrition and dysentery led to five deaths per day in the last period. End of quote. Uh, can you tell us why the number of deaths from malnutrition increased dramatically in the latter part of the Khmer Rouge regime? La dysenterie, la diarrhée, la malnutrition ont causé autant de décès sous le régime des Khmer Rouge. Toward the later part of the regime, Réponse, it became worse. Régime, People les choses did not have uh, anything to eat. Les For that reason, their bodies uh, became uh, swollen. Ils ont souffert de, de And I know you weren't trained Question. as a as a medical doctor, but you received medical training and you worked at the hospital médecine, where these patients died. Uh, can you explain uh, to the court uh, how it is that people died from malnutrition in your hospital? I said they, they died from malnutrition que les gens de because in general parce en we général, need to have all kinds of nutrition for our body and uh, with the lack of nutri uh, nutrition si people cas, got uh, dysentery but the main uh, concern de de was that their bodies uh, became swollen. And that uh, caused by the lack of food Les and malnutrition. De nourriture, la malnutrition. Were the uh, majority of people who died Question. from malnutrition 
17 April people or base people? Both uh, groups. Réponse. Les the base people concernés. also died as well as le the uh, new people. Comme le peuple nouveau. And after you were criticized by Question. the district chief for attacking the cooperatives and for being a bourgeois and intellectual, uh, did you ever raise again with the leaders of Tramcock district the problem of mal malnutrition and insufficient medicine in the district? No, I did not. Réponse. I dare not uh, do that again. Non, I was really afraid by that time. J'avais peur à l'époque. I'd like now to turn to a Question. different subject, um, the sujet subject of présent, purges of enemies. Des purges des In uh, both of your OCIJ interviews, uh, you described being present at a Tramcock district meeting at which instructions were given on the categories or groups of people to be purged. And in specifically, in interview E319.1.21 at answers 40 through 43, you described how the district committee instructed that the following people were to be purged, and I quote, former government workers with the rank of first assistant to the chief of commune and above were to be arrested and sent to be executed. Former government police and military officials with the rank of warrant officer and above were also to be arrested and killed. Continuing in the next question and answer. Question. Ensuite, Apart question. from the above categories, cela, were there any other groups also to be purged? Answer. Yes, Réponse. any of the people oui. who went around speaking against Toutes the Khmer Rouge had to be reported Rouge and taken away to be killed. Question. Among the people considered Khmer Rouge question. opponents, were they also classified as feudalist, Chinese, CIA, KGB, Khmer Krom, Cham, or Buddhist followers? Answer. I did hear that people from Campuchia Krom had been accused of being KGB agents, UN spies. At those meetings, it was brought up that all the Khmer Krom had to be killed, end of quote. The first thing uh, I would like to clarify with you, Mr. Witness, uh, is whether there was only Première one meeting question, at which si these instructions were provided, uh, or were there multiple meetings where, where these issues were discussed? On the issue of uh, the purchase, à des I purges, only knew about this instruction only at that particular uh, meeting des, that I attended. Des consignes de ce genre avaient été données lors de la réunion à laquelle moi j'avais participé. And where did that meeting Question. take place? Et pouvez-vous nous dire où cette réunion a eu lieu? The meeting was held at a uh, kitchen hall near the market. Uh, de it was held right there in the uh, kitchen hall. Dans le réfectoire, donc dans la cuisine, à cet endroit. How many district cadres uh, were present de uh, at this meeting? And specifically, were the commune chiefs in attendance? Et y avait-il des chefs de commune Et si oui, combien étaient-ils Réponse. Je ne me souviens pas du nombre de ces personnes. Mais je me souviens qu'il y avait des représentants des communes avoisinantes. 
There were many people who were evacuated from Beaucoup, Phnom Penh and from, uh, from Takeo. Et de Takeo. So the representatives from the uh, communes attended uh, the, the meeting, including the Phnom Thom Kang Chung commune representative. Notamment les uh, représentants de la commune de Trapang Thung Chung. In your uh, First OCIJ interview, E3 slash 55-11 at answer 9, you stated, and I quote, the chiefs of the district, Document the communes, E3 the villages, 5, 5, and unit 1, members 1, 9, were invited to attend a conference. The conference participants were informed of what categories of people to be purged. Continuing below, the conference was attended by the district committee There was a planned purge. People who were targeted to be purged included soldiers from the ranks of corporal sergeant and above in the army and from the first deputy chief and above in the administration. Now, one thing I, I just want to clarify uh, to be sure about, uh, in the uh, other OCIJ interview I read, Uh, the former military to be purged were described as those with the rank of warrant officer and above instead of corporal sergeant and above. Um, however, when I looked at the French translation, uh, the military rank was described the same in both interviews that of adjutant. And your DC CAM interview uh, also stated that the uh, rank to be killed were, was anyone with the rank of warrant officer and above, uh, who you referred to as commissioned officers. And this was a reference at D3, D313. 1.2.409 Khmer 00418581 English 00729068 French 00808649 uh, And what I wanted uh, to ask you was just to explain what you meant Alors, by commissioned officers and uh, to have in your words in Khmer uh, the rank that the district committee instructed were to be purged. At their meeting, he told Réponse. us about the purchase of all those people, and if réunion, people who were, if those who were in the uh, army, they had to be purged from the adjutant up. And as for the administration side, it means from the first uh, deputy chief and up or above. C'était à partir du premier adjoint au maire que l'on devait faire l'objet de purge. Et qui était le district representative qui a donné ces instructions à cette réunion Et qui a donné ces consignes lors de cette réunion Réponse. Tachai However, there were uh, a présent. few other uh, commune chiefs who uh, attended that commune. meeting. You have uh, testified Question. that there were commune vous chiefs present uh, at, the meet at this meeting uh, where the district committee gave instructions on the former Uh, law and soldiers and officials to be purged. Uh, there are a number of reports from communes relating to the arrests of former ranking officers or officials. Uh, I'd like to now uh, show you a few of those reports. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to provide these documents uh, together to the witness. They are E3. Slash 2048, E3 2435, 
E3 E3 bar 4103 and E3 E3 bar 4107 uh, si uh, 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 au fur et à mesure que je poserai mes questions aux témoins. Yes, you may proceed. Le Président, je vous en prie. Mr. Witness, I've handed you a number of documents. I'm going to take you through them one by one. Um, the first is uh, E32048, and it's Khmer page 00079089, English 00276562. Two through six three and French zero zero six one one six five nine. Uh, this is a report to Tramcock District Anka from Chiang Torn Commune signed by someone named Moon, dated 30th of April 1977, uh, and it includes the following statement quote. After having received successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found the following persons. End of quote. Uh, do you remember a cadre from Chiang Torn commune named Mun? No, the name was not Réponse. Moon. No, in fact, it Moon. was Boon. It was called Boon. The next uh, report uh, in the collection I gave you uh, is also E32048 at Khmer 00079091, English 00. 276-564 and French 00611661. And it is a report uh, from Tapem commune signed by someone named Kit uh, that was sent uh, almost at the same time as the last document uh, on the 28th of April, 1977. And it reports that the commune had, and I quote, examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party. Uh, end of quote. Um, my, my question for you uh, about this document, um, was there a Another cadre in the district named Kit, uh, who was a representative of Tapem commune, a different person than the Kit who was the district chief. No, Réponse. I do not know a person at the commune by the name of a Kit. Je n'ai connu personne au niveau de la commune qui se serait appelé Kit. The next uh, document is E3 slash 2435, and it is a report from Ang Tassam commune to District Ankar, dated the 26th of April 1977, which confirmed 
that, and I quote, for those who have ranks as first lieutenant or second lieutenant, I am going to contact with Comrade Yorn, district military, in order to take them out this evening right away. And this note, I believe, appears uh, on the uh, second page of the report. My question, uh, do you, did you know a cadre uh, from the district military named si Comrade Yorn? No, uh, I Réponse. did not know a person at that non. time by that name. And then I have two documents from Question. Popel Commune. Um, de de Popel. First, E3 4103 uh, at Khmer 00143476. And this is on the right side of that page. English 00322133. French 00612838. And this is a document uh, dated the 11th of April uh, from a cadre from Papel, Papel Commune named Chorn, who reported to the district. Quote, for those people who held a ranking position, we will send them to you one after another. And quote. And one month later, uh, in early May 1977, uh, in the next document, E3 slash 2917, uh, the same commune reported to the district La même commune, that 106 military families, 393 people, had already been smashed by Ankar or died, and the commune was screening more families to find out whether or not they are of the, dist of the military personnel, end of quote. Um, first, um, do you remember a cadre from Popel commune named Chorn. La suivante, avez-vous connu un cadre de la commune de Popel qui se serait appelé Chorn? No. I did not because the Popel uh, Réponse, commune non. was uh, la, far from where I live. La commune de Popel I knew where the Popel commune was, but I did not know who was in charge of that commune. You've mentioned um, a woman named Boon, who was chief of Cheng Ton commune. Did you know Boon's husband? John was uh, G.A. Bruin's husband, but I am not sure Bruin. whether he is uh, still alive. Je ne sais pas est toujours en vie. Do you remember, was uh, Ye Bun Question. present uh, at this Ye meeting Bun, uh, where the district chief announced this plan for purges of law and law officers? militaires et fonctionnaires du régime de Lol Nol. No, she was not there at the meeting. Réponse non, elle n'était pas présente à cette réunion. These documents that I've shown Question. you uh, from four different communes uh, in Trumpkak District um, are all from the same time period, uh, April to early May 1977. Uh, did these documents um, refresh your recollection about the timing of the meeting you attended where instructions were provided on the purge of law nol officers? And specifically, do you remember when in relation to April 1977 that meeting took place? 
Was it before April 77 or was it after April 1977? Uh, President uh, Mr. Mr. Vines, please wait and Council Copet, you had the floor. Uh, I object to this question. Um, you would look in the dictionary for a textbook leading question. There we have one. Si on cherche la définition d'une question tendancieuse, on en a une. Ce n'est pas une bonne façon de poser une question au témoin en lui donnant toutes sortes de détails sur la date et puis ensuite en lui demandant de confirmer la date. À quoi sert ce type, donc cette série de questions Je m'interroge. If I may respond, your the purpose of documents is they help witnesses remember dates. The question was not leading. I asked the witness whether the meeting was before or after April 1977. That is not a leading question. That is the exact opposite of a leading question. President, objection raised by the Defense Council. It's overruled as the chamber needs to hear the response from the witness to the last question put to him by the international deputy co-prosecutor. And a witness, please respond. Witness, please put the question again. Do these documents refresh your recollection on the timing of the meeting you attended? where instructions were provided on the purge of law and law officers. Do you remember, was that meeting before or after April 1977? The meeting was held before 1977. And uh, one further question, Mr. President, before uh, I change subjects. Um, do you remember, uh, was this meeting during the time period that you were working at the district hospital? Savez-vous si à cette époque de la réunion, vous travaillez à l'hôpital du district? Answer. The meeting was whole was organized when I was working at the district hospital. President, thank you, international co-prosecutor. It is now appropriate time for lunch break, and the trial chamber will take a break from now until 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please coordinate the rest for um, the witness and his duty counsel with the vessels and have both the witness and duty counsel back in the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon and security personnel uh, are instructed to bring Mr. Kilson Pon to the um, uh, waiting room downstairs and have him back um, before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now in recess.